Ahoy, sponge lovers! I'm Patsy the Pirate, and welcome to the Bikini Bottoms Up Tour. Using the arrows and the enter button on your DVD remote, you can find out more about my favorite place on Earth, Bikini Bottom. Well, let's get going! What do you mean you can't find the remote? Look in the cushions. The other cushion. I can wait. You got it yet? Let's go! Ah, that there is SpongeBob's house. I think his house kind of suits his personality. Sugary, sweet, and very good smelling. Arr, I wish I could live in a pineapple. I lived in a zucchini once for a couple of weeks. Didn't work. SpongeBob's trusty snail. We would all do well to be a little more like Gary. Loyal, self-reliant, friendly, doesn't shed. Does leave a slime trail, though. I guess that would be a con. Here, boy. Fetch. Gary. I love you, Gary. Hello, caller. You have reached SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm away from the pineapple now, but leave a message at the tone and I'll get back to you pronto. Meow. That means quickly, Gary. Must be Gary's dream. I'm gonna get a closer look. Ah! Wow, look at all these books. I wonder where Gary is. Gary! Huh? Excuse me, sir. Have you seen <gasps> SpongeBob? Gary? How dare you invade the sanctity of my dreams? Gary, you can talk! <sighs> In dreams, one is not tethered by earthly limitations. That's SpongeBob's bed. Not that he uses it much. He's too hyperactive to do much snoozing. <laughs> SpongeBob is very picky about his mattresses, and he ought to know what he's talking about. The little yellow guy practically is a mattress himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why does SpongeBob have that diving board above his bed? Well, even when it comes to sleeping, SpongeBob likes to dive right in.
I can't pass my boating exam. I've taken it 37, uh, 38 times. I know all the answers until I get behind the wheel. I just need something to help me think straight. Thinking straight is what I do. You drive, and I'll do all the thinking for you. How are we going to do that? Come in, SpongeBob. Hello? Hello? Hey, I can hear you in my head. This is great. While I'm taking the test, you can give me all the answers. Okay, I'm at the closet. Listen carefully. What's pink and square at the same time? I don't know, Patrick. Patrick Squarepants! That there is SpongeBob's pet scallop, Shelly. She doesn't do much. She kind of sits there, kind of like a pet rock. <sighs> what a wonderful day. The sun is out, the water is shimmering, scallops are chirping. So peaceful. I've always wondered what's inside that treasure chest of SpongeBob's. Turns out even he doesn't know. He lost the key. If any of you find it, could you send it to Bikini Bottom? Care of SpongeBob. He'd appreciate it. Thank you. What's hidden deep inside SpongeBob's kitchen? How about a hearty supply of sea nut butter and jellyfish jelly for those midnight snacks? <laughs> and a couple of cans of snail food for Gary. Ah, here it is. Nothing like a sea nut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich to help you get to sleep. <laughs> A quick midnight snack, and then it's back to bed. The new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. We join our heroes locked in a battle of wits. What is it, Chief? Uh, hello? 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 Oh, that phone is still broken. Uh, remind me to, to get that fixed. Remind you what? Remind me of what? Will our heroes ever get their phone fixed? Tune in next week and find out. Wow. That was even better than the old show. So thanks to you.
That there's the domicile of Squidward Tentacles. When you look at Squidward, you'll notice that he's all head, and so is his house, just like him. Brooding, mean, crabby. The difference is that with Squidward's real head, nobody's home. Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the... When Squidward's not painting himself, he likes to look at his reflection. Don't ask me why. If you hear awful noises coming from Squidward's house, don't call the cops. He's just displaying his musical ability. <laughs> what musical ability? Squidward is a wannabe artist who has never sold a painting. Why? Maybe because the only thing he paints is himself. Who would want that? He's kind of the undersea Frida Kahlo. Sandy's Dree Dome. Now, Sandy is a land animal that lives under the sea. So her house has to be very special. It's pressurized, it has an airlock, it's climate controlled. It was built for her by her friends at NASA. It's got everything a squirrel could want, even a tree. <laughs> I guess a dog would want that too. What's a squirrel without an exercise wheel? Besides, when you're a roping, riding, yodeling, karate chopping rodent, you've gotta be in tip top physical condition. Howdy, it's me, Sandy. Y'all leave a message and I'll call y'all back. Why does Sandy wear that diving suit all the time, you ask? Well, Sandy is a mammal who lives underwater. So if she didn't wear that suit, the intense undersea pressure would crush her like an egg. Say, uh, what is that thing on your head? Well, that's my air helmet. May I try it on? Heck no, I need it to breathe. I gotta have my air. Me too, I love air. Air is good. No kidding? Why, air's my middle name. The more air, the better.
98. 99. 100. I want 100 more. It hurts. One, two, three, four. I think we five, finally found an exercise for you, seven, SpongeBob. Nine. Ten. Can you get that? That fine eating establishment is the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob works there, Squidward works there, and it's owned by Mr. Eugene Krabs, the greediest guy in town. The Krusty Krab looks like a New England style lobster trap, but now it just traps the pocket change of Bikini Bottom's hungry denizens. Mmm, that's good eating. A customer. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. Who eats at the Krusty Krab? Any form of undersea life with a couple of coins rattling together in his pocket. Who wants a delicious Krabby Patty and kelp fries? Mmm. A customer. Welcome to the Krusty Krab! SpongeBob cater to his every whim. And don't screw this one up. Hi, aye, sir. Welcome aboard, sir. Here at the Krusty Krab, you are the captain, and I am your cabin boy. You just say the word, and I will throw myself in the brig. May I take your order? All I wanted was change for the payphone. Hi, aye! Monsieur's change. Thanks. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Have you finished cleaning the tables? I clean the tables, Mr. Krabs. Aye, but did you scrape all the gum off the underside? I already took care of it. You call this food? My sandwich tastes like a fried boot. My sandwich is a fried boot. Hurry it up, will ya? We're hungry over here, look at us. My kids have the yellow guy. Sir, we're closed. Nick. Ahoy there, Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Pizza? Mm. Of course we have pizza. Ah, uh, Mr. Krab. Our delivery squid will bring it right over. <laughs> Mr. Krab, we don't serve pizza. Lunchtime at the Krusty Krab. Everyone enjoying their Krabby Patties. Uh-huh. What's this? Can you spot him, Mr. Squidward? Down there, sir! Oh, there appears to be a Krabby Patty napping in progress. There can be only one culprit. Plankton! Finally, victory is mine! I win! I win! I win! Welcome to the Krusty Krab. My name is Squidward. Can I take your order?
Why does SpongeBob love his job so much? Well, the same reason that I swash, buckle, and keel haul. It's what I do. Patchy, you're asking. What's the secret recipe and ingredients for those tasty Krabby Patties? <laughs> well, I don't know. Nope. 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 Okay, I am not gonna blow it this time. Okay. Okay, I am not gonna blow it this time. Let's see, bun down, then ketchup, then mustard, then pickles. No, that's not right! <sighs> bun down, mustard, then ketchup, lettuce, then the pickles? No. Mustard down, buns up, down. Ah, uh, where's the patty go? Pickles, ketchup, wait! Oh, bang, bang, I'm losing it! Bun down, shoe, mustard, pan, One Krabby Patty extra onion. One crying Johnny coming up! First bun, then patty, followed by ketchup, mustard, pickles, extra onions, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, and bun, in that order. One crying Johnny! Wee oui, wee! Oui. Un Krabby Patty, monsieur! First, le patty! Come on, SpongeBob! Next, the ingredients. Hi! Le mustel. Wait, quit fooling around. Where's my Krabby Patty? Lay, hold on a second. And voila! It's under your nose! What I want for my birthday from you, my friend, is one of those tender, delicious Krabby Patties. <gasps> you just want to be friends so you can get your hands on a Krabby Patty. And I bet it's not even your birthday tomorrow. Gee, and I thought you were stupid. You'll never get a Krabby Patty from me. Even if we are friends, never, 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 never. Oh, I'll get a Krabby Patty. And you're gonna hand deliver it to me personally, you weak-minded fool! <laughs> <laughs>